Chris, thank you for everyone here. Before you go, what's the website that they got to go check on all this other thing? Check out Dr. Shiva's website. He is live every Thursday. He wants to hear from you. Say hi, say what's up. He is one of us. You want the people's president in that office. That's Dr. Shiva. He loves, he loves God and he loves people. That's what we need in the White House. Thank you for your time. Just so you know, folks, um, Dr. Shiva speaks a good game about the grassroots. But actually, right here today, the grassroots is here with me. I'm talking about Jeremiah, I'm talking about Chris, I'm talking about Dion. We've been working with voter registrations for years. But I do appreciate him showing up once again. And once again, I want to say that people call the right wing intolerant. They're willing to listen to other messages today. You saw it for yourself. These people are saying all kinds of things about Trump. And I'm not saying all, some of it's true, some of it's not, right? But the fact of the matter is that these people, who's really here for free speech? Who's really here about inclusion? Hmm. One community standing out to me today. All right, folks, we got some other people coming up, yeah? Jeremiah, Tom's Mitch, come on up, folks. I know, I, I just want to say a short message. Um, united we stand, divided we fall. So let us know one last thing. We all have one common enemy in the whole world. The globalists, the deep state, the big swarms. So those are the explainer of all resources all over Africa, all over the whole globe. They are all one. So we have to be all unite and speak one voice against one enemy. Because we, have, we all have one common enemy. And we thank you. I thank everybody. I thank everybody for this event and let us keep up. United we stand, divided we fall. Yes, so, next yeah, up, Tom Mitch once again, folks, yeah? Uh, in terms of my total work, right, yeah? Look, Fatty, I, I think you're a cool guy, right, yeah? But you gotta start working with people like this. Tom Smith, people that are actually have voter database access. We will give you the voter database for free, right? Yeah, we're open source data access. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, step right up here, please. Yeah, into the into the cameras. All right, everyone. Uh, I spoke before, but I have one more thing I want to let you know, and uh, so this way everybody does understand. Remember, Lyndon Johnson. All right, after the assassination of Kennedy, which my family used to be Democrats, and they killed his ass. Okay, because he stood for the people. Remember this, he wanted to abolish the Federal Reserve, he wanted to abolish the Deep State, he wanted to abolish the CIA, and they killed him. Just like Trump wants to change things, well, guess what? Johnson came in, and what did he say? He said, we're going to have the black people voting Democrat for 200 years. We're going to separate the husband and wives and their families so that the women, will be, the kids, will be dependent on the government. Okay, and they, they're pretty successful at it. They were pretty successful at it because right now there's a 70% rate of single black women in America. And we need to bring back what we stand for as the MAGA movement, which means we are pro-God, pro-life, pro-family, pro-Second Amendment, and pro-America first. And that's amen to that. All right, and there's five things that we should be concerned about: God, life, family, Second Amendment. Because if without the Second Amendment, they're gonna roll right over us like they're doing in Venezuela and all these other countries, and Bangladesh and everything like that. Recently, happenings this week, okay, this week, okay, because people do are not armed, and they will never take this country as long as we are armed. If you give up your weapons, you will be suppressed. You will be stomped on. You will be enslaved. The only thing that's keeping us away from this tyranny is our Second Amendment right. And remember that always because that's what America First is. The freedom to think. The inalienable right to be free here in America. And that's what we are standing for. Because they have ostracized and they have exploited the criminal justice system. They have criminalized the political system. They've criminalized every damn system in this friggin' country, and we need to take that back. That's they criminalized the news! Even the, the local media, you cannot trust anything from the local media, okay? Because as you can see, yesterday was posted, Kamala Harris, whatever the hell bitch her name is, okay, when you say it. 
she is coming off a plane and it's all AI, artificial intelligence. They put a crowd in the picture. There was no one there. There's first hand rate that that's what they're doing nowadays. Okay, AI, you gotta be very afraid of the AI because they're gonna try to dupe people. The unintelligent people who cannot think for themselves are gonna believe all of these rallies that she's having and all of these thousands of people she's try imitating the Trump rallies. If you look closely at the pictures, there's a guy in the picture that has a neck about 10 inches long. You can tell it's fake. You got a guy in that picture who's got four hands. It's all fake. The news media is fake. They are bought and sold by the Democrat National Committee. Okay, if they don't do their bidding, they will... <laughs> oh my God. Do not listen to the fake media. It is all fake. Please, go online, do your own research. Do your own research and believe what we're telling you because it's all fake and that's why I'm running for office because we're going to expose all of this. We're going to expose everything that's corrupt in this country. We are not afraid. We will stand and fight for our country and your rights because they don't care about you. Thank you very much. When I